Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little series I'm putting together, we're going from Earth to Mars with the goal of landing on Phobos. In the last part, we finalized everything that we needed to do on Earth, and we barely took off. It was an atrocious uh, launch, from, well, not a launch, but a, an atrocious takeoff there from Cape Canaveral because this XR-5 is so heavy that we ran out of runway and we got the nose up probably just a few meters before we would have hit those hills there at the end of the uh, at the end of the runway. So that's something I need to keep in mind for future flights with the XR5. I need more runway. With all that said, let's go ahead and switch camera views here. And I'm recording this video immediately after the previous two parts, so we're just going to pick up and continue from where we left off. So we're basically in orbit, but we need to circularize our orbit. However, we have a lot of these fuel modules <clears throat> that we've already burned through. So rather than circularize our orbit and then dump those extra fuel modules, which will keep them in orbit, we'll dump them now so that when they go around to the low side, let me switch to these, uh, when those, so, the, so this is our current orbit. And when we get over here around this point, we're gonna enter the atmosphere and eventually we would crash. So if we eject those modules now, they will continue this path. And then when we get to Apoapsis, we'll raise the other side of our orbit, but those modules will just go around and burn up. All right, so let's go to the payload area. And let's open the doors. A little bit of time warp, because some of those animations can take a while. Okay, so we have, so like one through, some of these are locks. Let me just click it. That's locks, that's locks, locks, and main fuel. Now, let's see. Okay, so a full, one that hasn't been burnt yet has 17,000 kg. So the ones here that have a mass of 4,000 are spent so that one's spent that one's spent all right so let's get rid of these let's get rid of this one deploy payload deployed and deploy number nine payload deployed deploy number ten payload deployed deploy number eleven payload deployed twelve payload deployed thirteen payload deployed fourteen payload deployed 15. Wow. It's like we didn't bring any extra fuel with this. Okay, so this one has some fuel left in it. And so this one's almost full and this one is full. So we'll look at the external so you can see what's happening here. So these uh, modules are just leaving the vessel. And they will float away. So we should be far enough away from them now that we can close our doors back up. So let's do that. And a little bit of time warp again, because the animations just take a while. Oh, I do I keep doing that. I mean to turn off the APU and I hit the thing to reopen the door. Okay, so that will have lightened our vessel substantially, uh, which will increase our DV, speaking of. I'm just trying to... Eesh. All right, I think I'm going to... Off. Rotation. Translation. Let me see. I want to maybe translate a bit that way and maybe just a bit forward just to put some separation. I mean, I don't think I have to worry about these things actually doing any real damage to the vessel. But actually, no, this is the XR5. This isn't the Delta Glider. So I think those... I think if they hit, there might actually be a collision there that would detect damage. So I'm just going to put in some... Rotation. Translation. I'm trying to translate away from these things, but I'm not having a lot of luck at it. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Go away. Alright, so those should be gone now. Alright, so next order of business, circularizing our orbit. So let's go ahead and warp time 4, get closer to that point. 
and we're not going to worry about our eject here because we're going to set up a maneuver to replace this so we're going to go around at least one full orbit and just look outside where are those at I guess that's a good thing that I can't see them and I can't see them anymore so I have no idea where they're at All right, so as we're coming up to apoapsis, uh, let me bring up burn time calculator. I would be, I, I really want to refamiliarize myself with IMFD, but I've, I'm finding that it crashes orbiter a lot. I don't know what issue I'm having there, but because uh, I would like to try to re remember how to use the, um, like it has its own circularization program, but I'm going to stick with uh, burn time calculator for now because yeah, I've been, as I've been trying I, I did install uh, IMFD but I like I said I'm finding that it's crashing orbiter a lot so okay now we can help out the autopilot a little bit of time warp although if we get too close to the time to do the burn we're just gonna have to turn on the uh, prograde autopilot anyway but it looks like we have enough time to like at least help get it in the right position. All right, we're getting really close. It is time to, it might even have passed the time to do the burn. Um, prograde. I, I think I probably, because this vessel is a lot heavier than the XR2, so I, I needed this, I needed to do all this earlier. I might have passed the time for the circularization, but we're going to do it anyway. So circularize. Okay, luckily, luckily we still had time. Sometimes I forget, like I'm so used to the XR2 or the Delta Glider that I forget just how much extra time is needed for these heavier vessels like the Aero Freighter or the XR5 or the Space Shuttle. Every now and then when I fly the Space Shuttle, I, you know, it's like, oh, wow, the, the Ohm's engines in this thing are so pathetic. You need so much more time to circularize your orbit. All right orbit established so we don't have to worry about crashing into the ground that's a good thing uh, bring transects back uh, back up on both sides and we're gonna go let me see forward on this side for sure and I think this side will have the maneuver or is it this side that gets the maneuver okay so it's this so it's stage one that gets the maneuver not side but stage one so we'll turn maneuver mode on I guess in theory we could hit that, but I probably won't worry about it. Um, we'll see how much time it is. So maneuver mode on, and we're going to go to uh, prograde. And I want to say, if we look at the eject plan on this side, then yeah, we need the total delta V, so 3.033. So we're going to enter that in here as 3033. And let's view over to setup and change our, I want to zoom in, basically scale the view. That's better. And now we're going to move our time forward. It's going to be tight getting that, but we'll see if we can make it work. So now we're going to go to our date and we're just looking at a few seconds here. So we're going to go all the way to a uh, hyper bring that around and let me just quickly see how much time that gives me that's only 400 seconds I think I'm gonna go around one orbit because that's too much pressure so we'll go to ultra and we're just gonna swing it around so we're gonna go around one time and now down to hyper and now down to micro. All right, so we're going to do our eject in uh, one orbit. So let's let's start getting that set up. Although we're gonna, I, I'm gonna want to refine it. You know what? I wonder. 400, uh, 400 seconds just seems too tight. So let's uh, get rid of our eject plan now. So we're gonna zero out our prograde. So backwards, backwards, reset. 
and now we can view the encounter on this side and this is the uh, the maneuver and now again just to adjust our graphics a little bit we're gonna go to setup and we're gonna go back to must be forwards graph projection and I want probably maneuver yeah maneuver okay uh, so let's Okay, so this is this is currently what our maneuver looks like, which is pretty good actually. Um, I'm surprised it didn't fall apart more than this. But this is like several thousand seconds from now, and I don't trust Transex to keep things together that long. So I'm going to warp time forward to get maybe 1,500 seconds away from the time to begin the burn. Before I do that, I just want to check and make sure. Okay, radiators open, and okay, I think I think we're I think we're okay to warp time forward. I guess one other thing I could probably do, just in case I overshoot a burn, let me go ahead and open the uh, retro doors. It seems a bit early to be doing that, but I'll do it anyway. And now we're going to warp time forward till we're much closer to the time to this uh, to this maneuver. Let's go a thousand, being careful not to overshoot, and so there we are. So 1,500 seconds away from the time to begin the burn. Let's view our maneuver. And is it backwards or forwards? And we're going to do an update. And to my complete shock, nothing changed, which actually worries me. Because it makes me wonder if something isn't set up right but I'll assume it's right now inclination is still um, it's not quite where I want it but uh, it, it's at least in the right direction and the minimum altitude doesn't matter at this point because this is so inaccurate uh, in fact I'm gonna say none of this matters as long as we're in the vicinity of Mars at the moment none of this really matters because I would be in, I would be tempted to tweak some of this, maybe maybe the inclination. Let me see if I can tweak that a little bit in the time that we have. I don't really care about the minimum altitude because I know from experience this this is crazy inaccurate. I'd be tempted to bring up IMFD and take a look at the map program and stuff, but uh, it's it's crashed orbiter at least fifty percent of the time. So I don't know what I don't know what's going on with that. All right, so inclination. So if I just tap um, prograde and date, let's just see what happens. Maybe a bit more. Why is that not changing at all? Oh man, that has got me super concerned. Something is not. Something's not right. This is having no effect on this. Okay, what am I missing here? Let me just tap the date. Yeah, that is having... That's having no effect. That should have a huge impact. Okay, something's not right. Let's go back. And in our eject plan, did we, did we end up with some outward or something? No, no. Um, hmm. What is going on? The good thing is we have time to worry about this because technically the date isn't until tomorrow. So I have time to figure this out. But why isn't the maneuver or why isn't the encounter changing at all? So let's see if we can troubleshoot Transex here on the fly. So I am in stage one view escape plan let me just see is there something here I'm missing no let me view the maneuver maneuver mode on prograde so what I could do 
since I already know, since I know I'm basically in the right um, orbit around Earth, I could dump my Transex. Actually, I got a better idea. Let me bring up Transex 2. And I'm going to... I'm going to set up a new, because Transex 2 has no affiliation with Transex 1. So let's do Escape. Let's go forward on this side. Let's target Mars. Let's go forward on that side to create Stage 3. View the encounter. Let's go, uh, let's go to Maneuver Mode on this side. Turn on Maneuver Mode. Go through our variables until we have Prograde. And we know that it was, uh, I don't remember the number. Let me look at Transex 1 back view uh, actually that's gone so I'm gonna have to go back here and view my maneuver in at the moment I have 3.028 even though I know I changed that a little bit but I'm gonna put that in for now 3028 and then the time to do the burn is according to this maneuver 61342 7220 so let's Go back seventy two twenty. All right, and now select transex two on this side, and let's go back here. And what in the world am I not doing? I'm so confused. So, what am I forgetting? Why don't I, oh, on this side I should see, um, I should see the closest approach. Okay, just let me process this for a moment. No, I know what I know what it is. I I don't have the right I don't have the right uh, I don't have the right prograde because I don't have it. I don't even have enough to go to the moon, let alone Mars. So the problem is, look at my hypothetical. I'm I'm just on a hugely elliptical orbit. So that's why I don't have a closest approach. Okay, so brain is starting to function here. So let's just add in some more prograde till we escape Earth. And there we go. Mystery solved. Okay. Alright, so now we have our closest approach. It's coming down. And I bet you that's probably the problem I was having with Transex 1 as well. So let me just check that. Since I've already got everything set up over here. I probably put in the wrong delta V. I've done that a few times with Transex. I look at the different screens and I pick the. I, I'm now that I think about it, I'm almost positive that's what happened. So we've already got the date and all that set up. So we're just going to go over here and we're going to go and we're going to put in our prograde that we need to get out to Mars. Okay, man. Like I said in other videos, my. Uh, 2012 version of myself would be so disappointed but you know it has been a while all right forward so jeez just putting in some more prograde until the encounter comes online let me actually go back so apparently we're further out so it's going worse so let's go back let's get that down to the lowest point and then I'm just gonna have to adjust the date a bit and by date, I just mean seconds, not like a long time. So there's 725. Let's switch our variables. Leave a comment down below if you were watching me fiddle through this and you're screaming at your screen, idiot, idiot. Okay, so we're getting there. And then over to date. Luckily, I gave myself quite a bit of time to figure this out, so that's already down to micro. We'll go with that. More prograde. 
and there we are finally at Mars and I do like that inclination I was seeing there because that's how I started this whole thing to begin with and man, date super sensitive at this point so um, you know what I think yeah again it's it's so sensitive that we you know we can't even control that amount with control thrust so there's no point in messing with it but we'll just get We'll get dialed in to something like, let's overshoot that just a little bit, just a little bit more than that. And we'll tap our date one more time. Yeah, it's too sensitive. So let's uh, let's just, with height, with um, prograde, we're just going to dial ourselves in. So we're pretty close to Mars. And then we're not going to worry about any further because I feel like, you know, with the way things will change between now and then, um, our plans... Um, I, I guess what we could do though while we're here let's tap so just a tiny bit of plane change gets us maybe a little bit closer and let's back up no date it's too sensitive and uh, that's looking good we're gonna go with that right there that's the maneuver okay view over to target Still have uh, a while. That's good. Now, let's warp time forward to get closer to that burn. 500 seconds, 400. All right, we're getting pretty close, uh, but we're almost already lined up. So let's get a bit closer yet. And time to begin the burn is 130 seconds out. Let's bring up burn time and get the maneuver. Let me actually turn off Transx2 just in case it tries to pick up this burn. I don't think it does that, but I don't know. So maneuver off, forward on that side to destroy the other stages. No, wait, I guess we have to go. Ah, I'm running out of time. Uh, all right, I can't mess with it. We'll just have to hope that it picks up the right one. Burn time and auto center where's that i can't ever find the variables i want when i want them auto center i probably already passed it um, down and get the maneuver okay so we still have 80 seconds that's good so i will bring up transx2 because i just want to make sure i clear so escape none all right now when i go forward it'll destroy those other stages so they're gone and burn time all right so so everything should be ready and burn time will carry out the burn in 55 seconds so let's warp time forward to finish up our burn there goes our second to last fuel module there goes the last one now we're on internal fuel and once we finish up this burn and do just the last little bit of cleanup we'll end this video and move on to the next part all right cut off coming up in three two one and now real time three two one and that's the maneuver complete let's be over to maneuver and do we go backwards? Yes, got it right for once. Bring up Transx on this side. We'll go back so we can see the closest approach. Put in a little bit of main engine. Get down closer to there. And then we'll go forward on that side so we can actually see the encounter. Kill. A little bit more on the burn. And really close now. And now I'm just using control thrust to translate in that last little bit, but it's probably pointless. So that is the maneuver all done. Let's go ahead and press control S to save our scenario, control P to pause, switch camera views. That's going to wrap it up for this part. Uh, yeah, leave some comments down below about all my fumbling about and how as the YouTube armchair pilot you recognize the problem immediately while I'm sitting here fumbling around like an idiot. I'll see you in the next part.